Hello and welcome to this video. This video has been requested by quite a few of you that um, wanted to know how I managed to get steam coming out of a hot cup of coffee um, from one of the shots I put on the internet. So I'm going to show you how we did it. So this is the finished item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, raw image. Uh, this is what I started with. That was the setup and basically it's quite straightforward all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background copy of the image itself by pressing the control and the letter J and as you can see the layer will come up over the background itself then I'm going to choose the smoke which I've already chosen, I downloaded this off the internet, you can get loads of it just type in smoke on Google and click on the images and download them, providing they're free and they're not copyrighted you should be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image, all of it, by clicking on select and all, then going over to edit and then copy and then back to the image that I want the effect to take part on. Now all you do with this is go back to edit and click on paste not paste special paste and as you can see the image will come on leave it as it is and just position it where you want it then go to edit free transform and I'm going to stretch out the mist or the smoke or the steam over the cup that I want the effect to take part on. Now, as you can see I can't see the cup but if you go to the layers and just where you'll see normal click on the one that says screen and there you go. As you noticed I left the selection box around that because I'm trying to position the uh, steam coming out of the cup itself and by leaving that on I can adjust it once I've selected the uh, steam. Once I've clicked on that, click OK and there is your steam coming out of your coffee. But as you can see, it's still got some problems by overlapping. All you do is click on Add a Layer Mask and the box will come up. Make sure this box is highlighted. Click on your paintbrush and make sure that your foreground colour is set to black. And then all I'm going to do is literally paint over where the problems are. Now on this it really doesn't matter um, if you don't get this right because there's plenty of ways to do it. So I'm going to show you two techniques on how to calm down this steam because naturally steam's not as sharp and it's not as um, deep as this so I'm going to make it look more realistic. Two ways you can do it. First way is where the opacity on the brush is set at 100 drop it down to about 10% make your brush just that tiny little bit bigger by right clicking and moving your slider up and then just literally going over it and targeting the steam itself so I'm going to small that and then just go lift the opacity back up a little bit more there want to make it look as realistic as you can just like that you can still move the steam and then go back on by just clicking on your little arrow and then going back to your paintbrush and just coming out of that and that's perfect just like that have a play around because obviously people do it differently and there's different ways and the pictures are going to be different obviously so the more you have a play around the better it will be um, but don't be frightened of using this tool because that's what it's there for the other way is obviously the opacity of what you've got your layer set to you can drop that down so for this I'm just going to drop it down to about 70, 79% that should be okay once you've done that right click on the top layer and click on flatten image and that's it there's your hot steaming cup of coffee in a matter of seconds not bad so thanks for watching until next time see you again bye bye